Hey, Stampers Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share two quick videos with you today. One is a very quick Halloween card, and the second video is I'm going to take this Halloween card and turn it into a gift card holder to show you how to, you can do that with any card that you make. Okay, so I'm starting out with a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock cut at five and a half by eight and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter so I have a card that looks like this. Then I stamped the pumpkin pie cardstock in pumpkin pie ink and you can see I use this little witch image and the little witch image came from Stampin' Up's Halloween Hello. This is in the holiday catalog. So I stamped this little witch image. There are, are nine different images here and they're all a lot of fun. So I chose the witch, stamped it randomly in pumpkin pie to give myself a background. Then I took a piece of the Witch's Brew Designer Series paper and I cut it at two and a quarter by four and three quarters. Then I just notched out the bottom of that card, or the bottom of that piece of paper. I just cut in the center and then from corner to corner I just cut like that. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put that down with glue. Let me show you what else I have here, though. I have a piece of elegant eggplant cut at two and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of very vanilla cut at two by three and three quarters. And I stamped this using two stamps from the best of Halloween. This is Stampin' Up's best of 25 years set for August. And I chose the tree and the trick-or-treat. I stamped the tree in the black stays on and the trick-or-treat in pumpkin pie. Okay, so here's how I'm going to put this card together. I'll start by attaching the very vanilla to the elegant eggplant and I'm not going to put it right in the middle because I know I'm going to turn this into a um, gift card holder or you could use it for a candy bar or some something like that. I'm going to give it a little mat around this edge over here and I'm going to leave a little extra on this side just like that then I'm going to put the banner down so that the tree is kind of centered in the banner so I'm going to put the banner right here so I'm just flip it over I love this paper this is the witches brew designer series paper and the papers are so much fun they make excellent scrapbook pages. I've made a few scrapbook pages with them. So they're a lot of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to put... Ooh, I'm so messy with glue. Then I'm going to put the um, elegant eggplant on top of it. This is just a really quick and simple card. Just like this. I'm going to center it between my spiders. I specifically cut the spiders so that they would kind of be centered around the um, the image that I put on. And I decided to use an elegant eggplant button from the Regal's Designer Buttons. I'm going to just attach that with a glue dot. And then I have a piece of pumpkin pie taffeta ribbon that I've tied in a bow and I'm going to attach that with a glue dot on top of the button. And that completes my very quick and easy trick or treat card. Thanks for watching. Check out my next video so you can see how I turn this into a gift card holder. Thanks for watching. Visit my blog at stampingimperfection.com, sign up for the mailing list, and check out the other tutorials and ideas that I have there.